Now on the other side of it, you're supposed, man is supposed to give himself as Jesus gave himself for the church and wash it with the water of the word. And so you're supposed to give up your needs and what you want to do to take care of your wife. Amen. You're supposed to die to self so that she can be taken care of. But here come the devil. God didn't really say all that. He don't know how she acts. <laughs> you don't know how bad she makes you. <laughs> you don't know how she runs around, does this, does that, on the phone, talking all the time, spends all my money. All the time. <laughs> But the devil will come. You know, we can just keep going on down that line on and on. So the the devil comes in and this is the same thing. He he don't he don't change, he just does the same thing over and over again. He, the Bible says if you don't forgive, you won't be forgiven. But the devil comes and says, oh, they, they, they don't know how bad they did you. You really deserve to hold on to this. You really, and it, that makes that flesh feel good. I sure do. You know, it feels good to be mad and have a grudge at somebody. I don't know, it does to me. I don't know about that. And your brain release your endorphins. Yes, sir. You can just get high as you can be and hate on somebody. Sit around and think about all the evil stuff you can do to them. They can do that stuff all the time. I lay up in the bed at night, plotting and planning about I, if, if this, I'm going to do this and do this over there. And then I rehearse. I go over everything that was said in the conversation. I say, next time I'm going to say this, 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 this. Yeah. <laughs>
what you got me now. Because God created them to look beautiful to a man and a, a man to be handsome to a woman. God created them that way. And so this guy started talking and he started talking about things and he said, now why did God do that? If he knew this, this tree was going to be in this garden and it was going to be tempting, why didn't he just make it look ugly and make it stink and be nasty? <laughs> And then he, the devil could have tried to come and tempt her, and she wouldn't want, I'm not eating nothing off that tree steak. It's mad. It's all, all up. I'm not eating off that tree. Amen. Or he could have took like he did after they fell and put an angel with a flaming sword in front of it, whirling round and round. <laughs> and she said, well, it looked good, but I'm not going over there because I'm going to die. I, I see I see, I'm going to die. See, because God has to test your heart. He has to see, are you going to choose Him? Or are you going to choose that thing that looks good? See, because He already knows. <laughs> he already knows what you're going to do. What He's trying to show you is what's in your heart. Amen? Amen. Amen. He done it to me. I tell you, when I went through that ladder, when I went through all that mess, when I went to Houston and went through all that kind of stuff, I found out I had a whole bunch of stuff in my heart I thought I didn't have no more. <laughs> I'm talking about a whole bunch of nasty, filthy mess. And I came to find out that it, it, I had a long way to go. And if it hadn't been for Jesus, and if I wasn't in Jesus, it wouldn't be good for me. Mm -hmm. It wouldn't be good for nobody else around me either. See, but God had to take me through that and let me see those things. It was another time of, of purging and purifying, and I fell into all kind of sin. I ain't going to lie to you. Because I had to see that I was choosing this thing over here over God. And what did it do? It brought death. It, brought, it worked death. Now, you can have two kinds of death work out. Either you can die to that thing and that desire that's pulling you down and live to God, or you can keep going after that thing and die to the things of the Spirit. you got a choice, just like they had a choice right there. And so as we see these things tied in in the book of Romans, it shows that everybody in the church, for sure, knows that there is a God and that He created all things. But when you start getting to a point that you start worshiping those things that were created over the Creator, then He starts trying to pull you to come back up out of that thing and you start pushing Him out of the knowledge of your mind, you're going to fool around and get turned over to a reprobate mind. 